people today regard science as the ultimate truth. But the fact is, what scientists report as truth today can become completely false tomorrow. There are many examples of this, so let's take a look at a few before we show you how to determine what the truth really is. Phrenology Now widely considered a pseudoscience, phrenology was a study of the shape of the skull as indicative of the strengths of different faculties. Modern scientific research wiped it out by proving that personality traits could not be traced to specific portions of the brain. The Blank Slate The Blank Slate Theory, or Tabula Rasa, widely popularized by John Locke in 1689, proposed that individuals are born without built-in mental content and that their knowledge comes from experience and perception. Modern research suggests that genes and other family traits inherited from birth, along with innate instincts of course, also play a very important role. Luminiferous Aether The Aether, or Aether, was a mysterious substance that was thought to transmit light through the universe. The idea of a luminiferous aether was debunked as experiments in the diffraction and refraction of light and later Einstein's special theory of relativity came along and entirely revolutionized physics. Einstein's static or stationary universe A static universe, also called a stationary or Einstein universe, was a model proposed by Albert Einstein in 1917. It was problematic from the beginning. Edwin Hubble's discovery of the relationship between redshift obliterated it by completely demonstrating that the universe is constantly expanding. The Martian Canals The Martian Canals were a network of gullies that some 19th century scientists erroneously thought to exist on Mars, first detected in 1877 by Italian astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli. Modern telescopes and imaging technology completely debunked the myth. The canals were actually found to be a mere optical illusion. Phlogiston theory First postulated in 1667 by German physician Johann Joachim Beecher, phlogiston theory is an obsolete scientific theory regarding the existence of phlogiston, a fire-like element which was contained within combustible bodies and released during combustion. The theory tried to explain burning processes such as combustion and the rusting of metals, which are now jointly termed as oxidation. The expanding or growing earth The expanding earth or growing earth is a hypothesis suggesting that the position and relative moment of continents is dependent on the volume of the earth increasing but modern science has turned down any expansion or contraction of the Earth. Discovery of the planet Vulcan A small planet that was supposed to exist in an orbit between Mercury and the Sun, French mathematician Urban Jean Joseph Leverrier coined the name Vulcan while trying to explain the nature of Mercury's orbit. No such planet was ever discovered while the orbit of Mercury was explained in detail by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. Spontaneous or equivocal generation Spontaneous generation or equivocal generation is an obsolete principle concerning the origin of life from inanimate matter. The hypothesis was brought out by Aristotle, who advocated the work of earlier natural philosophers. It was proven wrong in the 19th century by the experiments of Louis Pasteur, drawing influence from Francesco Redi, who was an early proponent of germ theory and cell theory. These examples are clear evidences that science is not the truth, it's just a temporary understanding until humanity can understand things further. If science was the truth, it would never change. But as time goes on, our understanding of the world is constantly changing, and thus, science is the constant change of human perception and in no way can it ever be defined as truth. In many schools around the world, children are being taught that humans evolve from apes. It is being ingrained within their minds as though it is a known fact, and any child who dares to question this becomes unintelligent, according to our modern worldview. If they answer something else in their exams, they fail, because they haven't accepted this idea as truth. It's not that hard to believe, 
that atheism has become a growing trend in the modern world, when the world education system is based on the atheistic worldview. A study on leading scientists in the US concluded that 60% of prominent scientists did not believe in God. A 2014 survey by David Chalmers and David Bourget on nearly 1,000 professional philosophers from 99 leading departments of philosophy shows that 72.8% considered themselves as atheists. We send our children to be educated by systems that teach them that there is no God, while we are too preoccupied working to even ask our children what they learn in school. And then when they switch on their entertainment at home, the majority of films and TV promote that same concept of no God as truth, and they are made to feel like fools for believing otherwise. These entertainment shows make the people of God look illogical, extreme, violent, and uneducated, whilst they make the godless characters the heroes who save the world. This programming of the minds is ongoing and has been happening for many decades. So what is the truth? Many people have made the mistake of comparing science to Islam to confirm to themselves that Islam is true. But they've done it in the wrong way. The correct way is to hold Islam as a truth and use Islam to determine what is true science and every other aspect of life too. Islam has never changed. It has remained true since day one. And as we have proven already, science is changing all the time. So if you regard science as truth and follow it until your last breath, you are putting your faith and trust in something that has been proven false or changed many times. The Quran has never been proven false. It is impossible. It has educated and enlightened the world with clear scientific facts which will always remain true. It has taught us events and stories of the past, present, and future. If you follow the guidance within this Quran, you will transform into the best human being you could ever be. And a result of that transformation will be true success in this world and the next. سخر الشمس والقمر كل يجري لأجل مسمى يدبر الأمر يفصل الآيات لعلكم بنقاء ربكم توقنون وهو الذي مد الأرض وجعل فيها رواسي وأنهارا ومن كل الثمرات جعل فيها زوجين اثنين يغشي الليل النهار إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم يتفكرون وفي الأرض قطع متجاورات وجنات من أعناب وزرع ونخيل وزرع ونخيل صنوان وغير صنوان يسقى بماء واحد ونفضل بعضها على بعض في الأكل إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم يعقلون وإن تعجب فعجب قولهم أإذا كنا ترابا إنا لفي خلق جديد أولئك الذين كفروا بربهم وأولئك الأولاد في أعناقهم وأولئك أصحاب النار هم فيها خالدون 
تعلم السيئة قبل الحسنة وقد خلت من قبلهم المثلات وإن ربك لذو مغفرة للناس على ظلمهم وإن ربك لشديد العقاب ويقول الذين كفروا لولا أنزل عليه آية من ربه إنما أنت منذر ولكل قوم هاد الله يعلم ما تحمل كل أنثى وما تغيض الأرحام وما تزداد وكل شيء عنده بمقدار عالم الغيب والشهادة الكبير المتعال سواء منكم من أسر القول ومن جهر به ومن هو مستخف بالليل وسارب بالنهار له معقبات من بين يديه ومن خلفه يحفظونه من أمر الله إن الله لا يغير ما بقوم حتى يغيروا ما بأنفسهم وإذا أراد الله بقوم سوءا فلا مرد له وما لهم من دونه من وال هو الذي يريكم البرق خوفا وطمعا وينشئ السحاب الثقال ويسبح الرعد بحمده والملائكة من خيفته ويرسل الصواعق فيصيب بها من يشاء وهم يجادلون في الله وهم يجادلون في الله وهو شديد المحال له دعوة الحق والذين يدعون من دونه لا يستجيبون لهم بشيء إلا إلا كباسط كفيه إلى الماء ليبلغ فاه وما هو ببالغه وما دعاء الكافرين إلا في ضلال ولله يسجد ما في السماوات والأرض طوعا وكرها طوعا وكرها وظلالهم بالغدو والآصال